My wife's boyfriend. It's been one year and seven months since I, 53 male, found out that she, 47 fit female, has been seeing a retired cop. They had been going out for five months before that. A month before I found out, she had said she never loved me and wanted a divorce. She changed her mind because of the kids, four school aged. We agreed she could do whatever she wanted but we would stay together. The kids do not have a clue. Me and her never argue and all of us do the family stuff. The kids are happy. The problem is we, me and her, are still intimate. That was my idea. At first I could pretend and block it all. But as time has moved on, that has become harder for me to do. For a while now I have been slowing down our time with each other. Being with her reminds me of her being with him. For some reason, she sometimes wants to be with me after she had been with him. Reading this sounds like some other idiot's fantasy, my nightmare. Everything came to a head this past weekend. She acts a certain way when she planning on going to be with him, so I knew all day what was going to happen. So after, I tell her I don't want to, do it, ever again. That she didn't have to be with me anymore. I did not think that this would be a problem. Wrong. She blew a gasket. Saying everything from she doesn't care to screaming she wants a divorce then. Now I'm confused. My question. What's the big deal? Why the hell does it matter to her? I mean, she is seeing another person. What the hell? To all of you who are going to advise divorce or getting a side girlfriend, I'm not interested. I just want my kids to have a home. My, 29 male, wife, 29 female, posted pictures with her boyfriend, 30 male, on social media. I told her to take them down, she is telling me I am acting out of line. Just to clear things up. My wife and I have an open marriage and she is not cheating. Although we are open we have not told our friends and family. My wife and I have been married for two years and have been open for the last year. She has been with a couple of guys but she ended up dating this guy named Jay. Jay too sees other women and my wife goes to see him from time to time. Now, I never liked Jay that much. When my wife started first seeing Jay she wouldn't want to be intimate with me much at all, and then I found out that Jay actually told her that if she slept with me, that he doesn't want to see her for a week because it was gross to him. Despite the fact that he sleeps around with other women. After I told my wife to end things with Jay he actually folded and said it was cool with it. So yes me and Jay haven't been on the right foot. I have met him a couple times, I don't like him much, he is the typical douchebag. I don't know what my wife sees in him. But that is where we are. My wife and I both have Facebook accounts and Snapchat accounts. I don't post much. My wife posts mainly on Facebook that is friends and family. On Snapchat she has her sister, close friends, co-workers, and some people in our neighborhood. My wife had first posted just pictures of dinner on her Snapchat which I was okay with. But then she posted a video of her recently filming her food and then quickly panning to him. I told my wife to delete that and from now on, not to post stuff like that. She told me no, that it was harmless and that she can say she is having dinner with a guy and it not be a big deal. I got very upset because then I found out too that she actually told her sister about Jay. She says that women talk and it's nothing. I honestly don't know what to do. I feel like this relationship has expanded out of control. Now even if I ask her to end it, everyone will know about the fact that we are open. I want to talk to her and really explain to her how this makes me feel but I have been unsuccessful. Where do I go? TL, DR. My wife posted pictures of her and her boyfriend on social media. I fear that it will expose our open marriage to the world. Why do I want my wife to have a boyfriend? Good idea? So I've been really wanting my wife to have a boyfriend. I feel like it will make me cherish her more. I feel like it will give her more love. We have a good relationship and I feel like things are going great, so this is not me trying to fix anything. I have absolutely no worries about my wife's loyalty to me. I don't worry about her falling in love with somebody else and leaving me. She has always been extremely loyal. We have young kids together, and I will always be the father of her children. 
she wouldn't mess up our kids' lives just because she loves someone else in addition to loving me. I just think it would be good for her to get out there and actually date someone, to actually like someone and enjoy being courted. I want to talk to her about the guys she likes, the nice things he said to her, how it gave her butterflies, etc. I want her to go out on nice dates with a nice guy who she really enjoys. I want her to have amazing time with someone who will give her foreplay and try to make her feel great. I want her to want someone else. I told her all these things and it made her happy to hear me talk this way. She's interested in trying. We have been married for seven years, had a few swinging experiences. I once went out to buy a car item and caught her with our car mechanic. I said hi, told the mechanic I got what he wanted, and just went upstairs to wait for them to finish. Since then they've done it a couple of times for fun, but after a few weeks, she claims she doesn't really like him. She was more drawn to his mechanical skills but when the pants came off the attraction went away. I'm sort of interested in finding a girlfriend, but probably more just in hooking up with one night stands. I grew up very conservative and my wife was the first person I slept with. I enjoy flirting a bit but don't really want to commit to a relationship with anybody. Anyways, this was sort of a rambling thread but I just wanted to see if you guys had any thoughts about this whole thing or if anyone else has been there. Thanks for listening. Vetoed and hurting. I was vetoed, rejected, by my metamor, partner's partner, this past weekend unexpectedly. I'm married and was dating a married man with two children. When we met in January, his wife was also in a long-term relationship with her boyfriend, who'd lived with them for the past four years. Supposedly, they had a non-hierarchical poly structure without veto power, with permission for long-term, love-based relationships. His wife and I met, she approved of me, and I was developing a friendship with her and spending time getting to know their children. Then a few months into our relationship, her long-term boyfriend dumped her and moved out of their house. At first, it seemed like an opportunity to support her and spend more time with her. Then, after a few more months, she began to feel insecure about her husband having a committed poly relationship when she did not. She was casually dating multiple men but hadn't found the one yet. So she requested to take time off from poly, I guess until she met someone new, and demanded that my boyfriend end it with me. Since they have a non-veto agreement, he refused to do so. She ghosted communication with me and blocked me on social media. Then began making it very difficult for him to see me by tracking his every move and making his life miserable at home. I wasn't aware of how bad it was getting for him because he gave me details sparingly and made excuses for her behavior. He was holding out hope that she would change her mind and we could work something out. Everything seemed to be going perfectly in our relationship. Both of us were slash are very much in love, saw each other a couple times a week, and we're spending time with each other's friends. My understanding was that they'd switch to a don't ask don't tell Polly, since she also has several casual boyfriends, and that everything was getting easier. He was hiding most of the drama from me for the past two months. Then, she gave him the ultimatum, choose your wife and children, or your girlfriend. It was an obvious choice. He was acting a little weird and stressed this past week and finally broke up with me on Saturday. I'm absolutely devastated and feel like I'll never have closure. To all couples with veto power, please consider the actual ramifications of using it. I'm a human being who was cut off from someone I will always love because of insecurities and deeper marital problems. This will also put a heavy strain on my boyfriend's already difficult marriage, with long-term anger and resentment. Veto is not an easy, quick fix for jealousy or insecurity. Really think through what veto power would look like in your situation and how it will affect each person involved. TLDR. I was vetoed by my metamor, even though they had a non-hierarchical, no veto poly marriage. My wife's boyfriend wants me out of the house by Monday. I'm at a loss of what to do. My wife and I have been married for eight years now and I'll admit it's not what it used to be. Three months ago she said she was seeing someone else. I thought it could still work and her boyfriend made her happy again so I wasn't against it. Two months ago he moved in with us and I was kicked to the couch and they would sleep together upstairs. I could hear them having sex almost every night but I'd just turn up my Nintendo Switch volume so I couldn't hear it. 
One month ago her boyfriend began to question why I was there anymore. He said all I did was stay home and play video games on my Nintendo Switch, and I wasn't man enough to, make his woman happy or feel good in bed, like he could. My wife tried to defend me but it didn't stop the tension between us that started because of that. Yesterday my wife told me her boyfriend wants me out of the house. I have no money, no car, and no friends to go to. My parents leave two hours away but they don't like me they call me a disappointment. Has anyone been in this situation before? I really need some advice. I'm at a loss and really don't know what to do. Still having issues accepting my wife's boyfriend. Are we doing something wrong? It's been seven months since my wife said she wanted to try a polyamory relationship. She started dating a friend of ours that I used to work with who was part of our wedding and has been close for a little while. She wants a big family and we're having issues having children so she figures this is one way to expand the family and I said okay. So through the seven months they have been together, I've not been able to deal with my emotions. They started dating and we figured that she would tell me everything that happened so it's open. After a few months I couldn't handle that. Anything sexual that would happen would upset me, so we agreed to just not talk about it and just recognize it as a relationship. Which helps, but I'm still not okay. If he's in the room, I have issues even talking to him let alone looking at him. After 7 months, I still haven't accepted all this and I'm a mess anytime they are together and pretty much all the time. Does this feeling just go away? Or am I doing something wrong here? I should also point out, that I do not practice polyamory. I have my own issues with keeping up with people and I feel it could just be a mess for me. I'm an old guy who did all that free love crap back in the 1960s and grew out of it. Here's what I learned over many years. People don't know what marriage is. They think the purpose of marriage is to be happy. They have no idea what they are committing to. Every time a young couple asks me how I stayed married for so long, my answer is like this. When you get married, you are saying you want to share someone's life with them. When they stop wanting sex, you're going to be okay with that. When they get cancer, you're going to nurse them. When they can't walk, you're going to wipe their butt. Marriage isn't about being happy. It's about finding happiness in the duty of commitment and building a business slash life slash family with another person. For those of you with healthy relationships with parents, when your parents don't make you happy you don't dump them. You don't go get more parents. You don't even imagine that. Mom and dad are your parents forever. Marriage is the same. Your wife slash husband is your family forever. That doesn't change until there is abuse slash danger slash destruction and you've tried and failed to help them, not too much. Addiction, repeated adultery, I think someone confessing can be fixed, someone getting caught cannot, repeat offenses are too much, physical abuse, constant debasement and name calling are all grounds for cutting the cord. The same as with parents. The problem most people have with marriages that fail is that they go in thinking, this person will make me happy. The hell they will. That person is going to change. You married an athlete? Watch them get fat, melt, and decide to pursue music. You married a stay-at-home body bookworm? Whoops. Now they think they want to pursue acting. You think they are going to cook and be clean? Uh-oh, they have cancer and now you do everything because you are a live-in nurse. Frankly, if that scares you at all, you should not get married. Because you aren't signing on for happiness. You are signing on for sharing human life, and human life is a complete chaotic crazy mess.